Hello and welcome to our Volvo Census Tech Help video. In this video, we hope to give you a better understanding of the system as a whole by taking a very detailed look at the newest version of Census, updated in 2019 with faster processing, found in nearly all new Volvo products. We will be covering all the features, but feel free to skip around to the parts that are of particular interest to you. Let's get started. A lot of rival automakers claim they have tablet-like interfaces, but this one is one of the only I could truly say that is tablet-like. So if you put your frame of mind in tablet mode, you'll realize you have pages you can swipe from, you also have a notification shade, so it is very similar to a tablet or a phone. So starting out with, you've got a tabbed interface. So you click on these tabs to expand them out. So here we have navigation, and you can leave it in this mode, or you can click this to make it take up the rest of the screen. You also have 3D, and of course you can pinch to zoom and scroll around really, really smoothly, and it has really nice quality graphics. When you expand out this, you can hit your set destination. This is going to allow you to search something or you can search by points of interest for instance. You do have the ability to have handwriting recognition so you can just draw your letter onto the touch screen. Capital Q. For instance Q, U, U. and you could say Quantro Volvo for instance. And start your navigation right there or place a phone call through the Bluetooth audio. Navigate to 3100 Hemingway Lane, Lexington. Searching for address in Kentucky. Select from list. Number one. 3100 Hemingway Lane, Lexington set as final destination, calculating route. Of course you just press this button like on an iPad to go back to the home screen. And then you can go down and hit the next tab. This is our audio tab where you can play and pause from the standard Bluetooth and you can also switch to your most recently used audio source right here. <laughs> Opening up our next tab we have the phone section. Now over here you've got your options you can just open up the keypad if you want to type in a number directly or more likely you want to go into your contacts which automatically sync over from your phone into this system. Now scrolling here is extremely smooth and you can quick toggle by hitting these letters off to the side. You can also set your recents and your favorites over here like that. And you can hit this little thing to once again search via the keyboard or by handwriting recognition. Now the apps here on the home screen are what you have open right now. To find the rest of the apps, you swipe over to the right. Now here are your other audio sources right here and of course these other ones would light up if you have them plugged in. Down below you've got all these buttons here including your messages. Now Volvo is really unique in the fact that it's really similar to your phone they don't really hinder you so you can basically tap on a person's name and you can see the stream of messages where you, they've sent you messages and you've replied just like on your phone. So I can't think of any other automaker that does that. Now of course when they come no. in you can read them aloud to you and you can also tap down here and you can just answer like on your phone with a regular keyboard so that's a really unique feature of course that's not going to work while you're driving but it's really nice to have the feature still as far as your other abilities you can just hit here to create a new message to somebody and you can just start typing in their name and then tap like that coming back over to your other applications you've got your car status This basically just tells you, you know, how your car is doing, when you need to get a service, 343 more days from now, tire pressure monitoring, any type of problems that may be showing up. But moving on to the apps you're probably most concerned about, you do have both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Now to get into these, all you have to do is just tap it. You may have to use your phone the first time you connect to confirm a few settings. See it says check my device. And then you would just hit continue and confirm.
We're launching Android Auto here. Of course, this is exactly the same as it is in all other vehicles. So you've got your, you know, phone, Google Maps. Now the neat thing about this is that it runs inside of one of these tabs, so you can keep using the rest of the Volvo system, including your climate controls, which pop up there, and you can even go into some of your other tabs like navigation. So technically you could actually be navigating in this and also with your Android Auto as well. The last app to click on is your sound experience. This just brings up your thing so that you can optimize where you want the audio to be focused on, the driver, all the passengers, just the rear people. You can also turn on and off the surround sound to make it have a more 3D sound. And then you've also got your basic stuff where you can adjust the treble, bass, and subwoofer, and some presets down here on the bottom. Now we're going to swipe to the left, and that brings you to all your vehicle functions. Now up at the top, these are your safety systems and other aids, and you can just turn these things on and off at will, like your auto start stop for instance. And that is new for 2019 by the way, because it will stay permanently off. You can also turn on your parking assist, and then this button will fold the rear headrest if you want a better view out of the rear window. Coming down, you've got a few other neat features. This will read your road signs, which are interesting, and they'll tell you like if you're speeding or not in the digital display. And then you can also hit this button, and that allows you to adjust the passenger seat using the driver's seat controls. Now, since this is like a phone, you swipe down, and that's where you get to your notification shade where things pop up. Now, there are a few things noteworthy up here. We're going to start with your profile. This allows you to set different settings to different keys and different Bluetooth uh, phones and match that with uh, you know, the driver's preferences. So you've got three different options or a guest mode as well. You can also access the driver's uh, manual from here. So this is neat of course because unlike your physical book where you have to flip through pages and spend an eternity looking for something, you can search by exterior, interior, or you can just type something in, like engine filter. And this will give you information about that, different symbols that you could expect to see, and stuff like that. So it's much, much easier than looking up things in a book. Okay, next up we've got your settings. Now, of course, there's a ton of different things to look at, so we'll start with the basic My Car. Here in the displays, this gives you different themes for your central um, gauged cluster. You can change to different uh, designs. And then that button changes the whole system to white instead of black, so you have normal and bright. Next up, you've got your IntelliSafe. Now, I won't go into a huge amount of detail, but this just allows you to customize your safety systems, and it will vary depending on what car you've got. You've got your lighting. So this gives you your sensitivity for your auto high beams. And then you've got different things like your welcome lighting when you unlock the car, and uh, daytime running lights, as well as your three flashes with the turn signal. For your interior lighting, you've got similar stuff including uh, choices for your ambient lighting. So you can do things like adjust the lights to the temperature inside of the vehicle. So, you know, if it's hot, you have it on heat and it's the middle of the winter, it'll be nice warm colors or blue colors when you've got the air conditioning blasting. You can also manually choose these by going down here and setting it to whatever your heart desires. Heading into mirrors and convenience, this allows you to control different things like your power folding mirrors and also how dim you want the mirrors to be. Locking, you've got all your lock stuff, including thoughtful touches like closing the sunroof curtain when you get out so that even if you forget, you won't come back and have a roasting hot car. Of course, your parking brake, that's self-explanatory. You can just check that and it will automatically engage when you put it in park so you don't have to remember to pull that little trigger. You do have some specific communication settings as well. These just include 
little basically things that just customize things that you like, you know, like uh, changing what type of tone that you want to play when you get messages or text messages. And you can change where you want the notifications to pop up as well. As far as other noteworthy things, you do have Wi-Fi. So you can power this on and connect to nearby Wi-Fi. This vehicle also has its own hotspot that you can power on and then you can connect your phone and stuff to that as well. And there's your would be your password. Of course you can customize that um, to something simpler to remember. This is your Volvo on call. Now you do have to activate your service, which I'm not going to do, but that is uh, provides you the ability to make controls of your car via the on-call app. So we'll go ahead and go into those subscriptions right now. So there are two things you can subscribe to in your Volvo. First is the on-call app, which is now free for the first four years of ownership in most Volvos. This app has a lot of neat features, including the ability to lock, unlock, and start the car, preset the climate, honk the horn, and call for roadside assistance. The car will also automatically notify emergency services if you've been involved in a crash where the airbags deploy. However, the most interesting feature is the ability to car share by giving access to someone else's phone. You basically send a person a virtual key, which gives them access to the same locking, unlocking, and starting during the predefined period which you've approved for them to have that access. Likewise, this also works with Amazon's new delivery feature where they deliver packages to the trunk of your car for added security. Volvo right now is the only brand to have this feature. The second subscription service is the in-car data hotspot. All new Volvos come with a complimentary 6 month or 3 gigabyte trial, but after that you will have to subscribe through AT&T. This will cost $20 per month for unlimited data, or you can add your car to an existing family plan for a slightly better deal. Well that pretty much concludes this Volvo census tutorial. I've experienced a lot of different brands infotainment systems, and census is one of my favorites due to the well executed interface and abundance of thoughtful features. Anyways, we hope you found this useful, and we encourage you to check out some of our other automotive content by subscribing to Car Confections. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.